Ngayong araw, pag-uusapan natin ang Recirculating Aquaculture Tank Production Systems. Sa presentation na ito, malalaman natin ang kanyang definition, pros and cons, features, types, requirements, site selection, and suitable aquatic species. So first, what is Recirculating Aquaculture Tank Production Systems? Recirculating aquaculture systems are indoor, tank-based systems in which fish are grown at high density under controlled environmental conditions. Generally, farmers adopt a more intensive approach. Higher densities are more rigorous management. It is very strict and demanding management compared to the other aquaculture production systems. Pros and cons of recirculating aquaculture tank production systems. The pros. It is used to save endangered species. The impact of pathogens is lowered considerably in a recirculation systems as invasive disease, diseases from the outside environment are minimized by the limited uses, use of water. So pathogens, ito yung mga bacteria na nagkakos ng disease sa mga sida which can which you can control dahil sa paggamit ng limitadong tubig sa, sa, sa systems. Control of growing conditions including temperature, water chemistry, the pH and alkalinity, turbidity yung linaw at labo ng ginagamit na tubig, disease, etc. Growth cycles including shortened time to harvest, size of the species, quality of product as well as optimum harvest points and ability to plan for harvest. Better feed to biomass ratio due to greater control of growing conditions and life cycles. Greater versatility, options for production location, nearness to market, marginal lands, etc. Risk reductions including climate, infection and disease, predation, etc. Predation ito yung may iwasan natin yung pagkain ng ibang sida sa inaalaga nating sida. Potential for clean product, produced without hormones, antibioti antibiotics, etc. Produced in environmentally friendly way, green and organic labeling. Potential for niche markets, either by species, availability, life to market, or size. Dumako naman tayo sa cons. It's expensive to build Management management of the systems takes education, expertise, and dedication. Nagde-develop din ito ng mabahong amoy, if not managed properly. Overfeeding. Can, overfeeding is a waste of money. Overfeeding wastes speed, degrades water quality, and can overload the biofilter. Risk. Potential for rapid chemistry alterations resulting in quick and massive die-offs dependency on monitoring. Ito yung dahil sa uneaten, dahil sa digestive protein ng isda, nagkakos siya ng ammonia. Ammonia is very toxic sa isda unless maging itong, maging itong nitrate ay nitrite para hindi na maging toxic. Of course, technically complex. So you need a person who is expertise and dedicate in this kind of system. Features of recirculating aquaculture tank production systems. Advanced invention in environment, environmental technology. Safer and healthier compared to traditional aquaculture. Cost efficient choice. Kind of high producing and low risk culture mode. And lastly, it achieves sustainable development of aquaculture. We have three types of recirculating aquaculture tank production systems. We have round tanks, raceway, and the ended tanks. So first, we will talk about round tanks. It have the advantage of a naturally self-cleaning action. As the water swirls around the tank, solids are drawn towards the middle, where the outlet is weighted. Due to this property, they are often used in hatcheries where due to high feed rates, solid loadings, waste speed, and phases can be very high and also in recirculating systems to remove the solids as soon as possible before they break down. Round tanks can be constructed of almost any material, the most common being fiberglass for 
tanks, 8 meter diameter and under, steel line or under unline, and concrete or concrete block. Other materials can be used as long as it is strong enough to hold the water without distortion, non-corrosive, non-abrasive, and non-toxic. Raceway. Raceway is a general term given to a straight-sided artificial channel in which fish and generally those this have a higher high water turnover rate occurring less than one hour. The advantage just of raceways are that they can be easily built in series with the water flow from one, uh, one to uh, the other and that they are easy to empty fish by using simple crowded screen. To be self-cleaning, raceway must be operated at high flow rates and or high stacking densities where the movement of the fish keep the faces and a median feed from settling. Disadvantage of raceways are brought about primarily, primarily by poor mixing and include the gradual deterioration of the water quality along the length of the raceway, whereas, whereas round tanks to be more even. Raceway versus round tanks. So, water exchange is a very important factor to consider when designing an aquaculture system. The water turnover rate will determine how quickly and completely it is filtered and or sterilized and what the ammonia and oxy oxygen levels will be, sedimentation and or self-cleaning characteristics are also very important. The ended tanks are a type of holding unit which are very economical in terms of space. These tanks can be constructed from most materials including fiberglass and concrete. They enables a lower tank turnover time without compromising velocity rates and self-cleaning abilities. Inlet pipes and aeration oxygenation devices are positioned to create a desired water velocity rate, useful in situations where space and makeup water are limited. And so these are the common tank shapes. The round, round tanks, the ended tanks, and raceway tanks. Yan. Yung round tanks, yun yung paikot-ikot lang yung tubig, nagsiswirl around sa tank. Sa tank. Yung, yung raceway naman is yung most high turnover rate ng tubig. And lastly, in the end, ito yung economic space. No? The requirements of the culture systems of recirculating aquaculture tank production systems. In a recirculation system, it is necessary to treat the water continuously to remove the waste products exerted by the fish and, con and to add oxygen to keep the fish alive and well. A recirculation system is in fact quite simple from the outlet of the fish tanks, the water flows to a mechanical filter and further on to a biological filter before it is aerated and stripped on carbon dioxide and returned to the fish tanks. This is the basic principle of recirculation. Several other facilities can be added such as oxygenation with pure oxygen, ultraviolet, ultraviolet light or ozone disinfection, automatic pH regulation, heat exchanging, denitrification, etc. depending on the exact requirements. And this is a simple principle drawing of a recirculation system. The basic water treatment systems consists of mechanical filtration, biological treatment, and aeration, stripping, further installations such as oxygen, enrichment, or UV disinfection can be added dependent, depending on the, on the requirements. Yeah. Mechanical filtration. Mechanical filtration of the outlet water from the fish tank has proven to be only practical solution for removal of the organic waste products. So, ito yung Ito yung dumi na inaalis ng mechanical filtration which can be seen by our naked eye. Today, almost all recirculated fish farms filter the outlet water from the tanks in all so-called micro-screen fitted with a filter, filter cloth of typically 40 to 100 microns. The drum filter is by far the most commonly used type of micro-screen. The design ensures the gentle removal of particles. Function of the drum filter Water to be filtered enters the drum. 2. 
The water is filtered through the drum's filter elements. The difference in water level inside or outside the drum is a driving force for the filtration. Solids are trapped on the filtered elements and lifted to the backwash area by rotation of the drum. Water from this nozzle is sprayed from the outside of the filter elements. The rejected organic material is washed out of the filter elements into the sludge tray. The sludge flows together with water by gravity out of the filter scaping from scaping the fish farm for external waste water treatment. Mechanical filtration it is the one who removes the organic waste products. That is can be seen by our naked eye. So after yan, this is uh, the image of mechanical filtration. Biological filter. Not all the organic matter is removed in the mechanical filter. The finest particles will pass through that together with dissolved compounds such as phosphate and nitrogen. Phosphate is an inert substance with no toxic effect, but nitrogen is the form of free ammonia in which tree is toxic and needs to be transformed in the biofilter to harmless nitrate. The breakdown of organic matter and ammonia is a biological process carried by out the bacteria in the biofilter. Heterotropic bacteria oxidize the organic matter by consuming oxygen and producing carbon dioxide. Ammonia and sludge, sludge nitrifying bacteria convert ammonia into nitrite and finally to nitrate. Heterotropic, these are requiring complex organic compounds of nitrogen and carbon, such as that obtained from plant or animal matter for, met, for metab, metabolic synthesis. No. After ma filter yung tubig sa mechanical filtration, hindi lahat ng dumi ay nalilinis ng mechanical filtration. Kaya dadan ulit sa isang proseso ng filter, ito yung biological filter, which these are the ways that cannot be seen, no? That can that cannot be seen by our naked eye. They are in the form of chemicals such as phosphate and ammonia. The efficiency of biofiltration depends primarily on the water temperature in the system, the pH level in the systems. Yeah, malalaman mo naman yung system about kung pH siya, about 7 to 14 is alkalinity, below 7 is acidity. Two major factors affect that pH in the water circulation systems, the production of CO2 from the fish and from the biological activity on the biofilter. The acid produced from the nitrification process. Nitrification process Ito yung process ng ammonia na magiging turn ammonia na toxic into nitrite ay nitrate into nitrite. This process is called nitrification. This is the image of biological filter. Degassing, irrigation, stripping. Irrigation can be accomplished by pumping air into the water whereby the turbulent contact between the air bubbles and the water drives out the gases. This underwater aeration makes it possible to move the water at the same time. For example, if an aeration wheel system is used, the aeration wheel system is however not as efficient for removing gases as the trick trickling filter system, also called the degasser. In the trickling system, gases are stripped off by physical contact between the water and plastic media stuck in a column. Water is led to the top of the filter over a distribution plate with holes and flush down through the plastic media to maximize turbulence and contact the so-called strip, stripping process. Yeah. This is the image of the gassing ration and stripping process. Oxygenation. The aeration process of the water which is the same physical process as the gassing or stripping will add some oxygen to the water through simple exchange between the gases in the water and the gases in the air depending on the saturation level of the oxygen in the water. So yung pala pag naglagay ka ng 100% ng saturi oxygen, saturi 100% oxygenation ng water sa tubig, ay as, as long past the process, magiging magdadown ito ng typically down to 70% yung level content ng oxygen. Kaya, ratio oxygenation will improve the amount of oxygen in the water so that it will become 
so that fish can stable for fish growth this is the image of oxygenation and ultraviolet ultraviolet light UV disinfection works by applying light in wavelengths that destroy DNA in biological organisms in aquaculture pathogenic bacteria and one celled organisms are targeted the treatment has been used for medical purposes for decades decades and does not impact the fish as UV treatment of the water is applied the fish for production area so yung ultraviolet light ginagamit nung una as medical purposes but later on ginagamit na rin siya sa aquaculture system sa aquaculture system yan UV the ultraviolet light can be expressed in several different units one of most widely used is microwatts microwatt seconds per, per square centimeter the efficiency depends on the size of the species of the target organisms and the turbidity of the water yeah this is the image of ultraviolet light site selection of recirculating aquaculture tank production systems so first main environmental factors topography and elevations soil water supply quantity and dynamics physical and chemical features of water productivity type and density of vegetation syempre kailangan mong mag build ng na system kailangan mong munang alamin yung topography yung gaano kataas yung elevations depending ng soil yung water supply na kailangan yung quantity chain dynamics physical and chemical yung linaw ng tubig yung pH kung acidity or alkalinity yung ginamit yung productivity Socioeconomic considerations. Ito yung ito yung prod, uh, availability ng mga products na availability ng mga materials na gagamitin para sa papatay yung recirculating aquaculture tank production systems which is factor. For example, Nagpatayo, nagtayo ka sa malayo yung ginagamit mong yung materials na in order mo is hirap hirap dalhin dun sa site para sa recirculating aquaculture tank production systems so kailangan kailangan mong i-consider yung socio-economic consideration sa pagtayo ng recirculating aquaculture tank production systems so lastly we will talk about suitable aquatic, aquatic species of recirculating aquaculture tank production systems so any any species will do it depending naman sa culture ng type eh, culture ng species na itatayo mo sa circulating aquaculture tank production systems. So yung mga na search ko is Arctic char, Salvi, Salvelinus alpinus which can grow in 14 degrees Celsius. Atlantic salmon malt also can grow in 14 degrees Celsius. Eel, angila angila could could grow in 24 degrees celsius grouper can be grow in 28 degrees celsius rainbow trout 16 degrees celsius sea bass sea drum 24 degrees celsius sturgeon 22 degrees celsius turbot 17 degrees celsius white leg shrimp 30 degrees celsius so you can able to mix aquatic species in recirculating aquaculture tank production systems kahit ano namang kahit anong species pwede kasi nakokontrol naman yung pH yung temperature na nabanggit kanina so it depend depende sa magtatayo kung ano yung species na gagamitin so reference ko www.fishsite.org telapiasite.com SR, SRAC publication number 453 guide Recirculation Aquaculture ni Jacob Bregbale www.fav.org www.chwte.com So, yun lang. Yun lang yun lang yung ipapresent ko sa Recirculating Aquaculture Tank Production System.
So thank you po and God bless.